Hey, everybody. Michael Globitz at FindMyProspects.com. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can use LinkedIn events to find more sales leads or to find more job candidates that you can place in open positions. LinkedIn events are a great way to connect with new people on LinkedIn and also connect with your first degree connections where you can hold a 30 to 60 minute event and show a ton of value to your prospects. These 30 to 60 minute events are a great place to showcase some of your skill sets, some of your services, or maybe some things about your agency or your customers if you're doing job placements. Either way, you wanna basically add value to people during this LinkedIn event, follow up with them after the event, connect with them, and then take them through your funnel. I'm gonna screen share mostly today instead of my talking head. And most of our videos are gonna be like this as a matter of fact. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is what I'm talking about with this LinkedIn event. So here, what you'll see is the prospect ladder lead flow campaign with a LinkedIn event. So again, this works if you're doing sales for products, sales for services, or if you're a recruiter, a sourcer, and you're looking for new job candidates. You basically want to start in the bottom left here and follow the ladder up until the top of the funnel and then bring it all the way down to find new leads. I'm going to explain every section today that also is in our blog post or just right here in this video. First thing you want to do is you want to start creating LinkedIn posts about your event or about the value you can provide to people. When you start doing those posts, it's very simple to use a software that Prospect Letter that we recommend and this will allow you to create different templates for your event. One of the best templates I like to use is the ADA framework. It's a marketing framework where you get people's attention, you get their interest, you give them a desire, and then take an action. So just to quickly show you how this works and how easy it is, I'm gonna jump in here. So based on past practice, Prospect Ladders lead generation software, we had an event in the past where we showed you how to 10 times your sales leads or your job candidates by using the software, strategies and tactics will save you time and money on LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, go ahead and hit generate content with this software that I'm using today. And it's gonna give you unlimited posts that you can use leading up to your event. I usually recommend that you start posting about your event and inviting people to your LinkedIn event about 30 to 40 days ahead of time. Anything longer than that and people will lose interest or the, uh, won't be around at that point in time. So you can see here where this software, which is awesome, by the way, it's a copywriting software we recommend. It basically gives people with certain things to let them know about getting interested in your event, the desire of what they want to do, and then the action they need to take. Register for the LinkedIn event today. You can simply use these multiple times with multiple posts and reach out to people on LinkedIn with your post and your content. There's other uh, templates that you can use as well for that, where you can do things like, uh, let's see, going down real quick, PAS framework is another one that's great for this. You pose a problem to people, you agitate them a little bit and give them a solution. So again, what can your LinkedIn event help people with? This is what they're looking for. If they're trying to find job candidates or if they're a certain type of candidate themselves, you know, maybe they need to learn how to work in the cleared space. Or again, if you have a software like mine that can help people or this particular software right here, this makes it so you don't have to hire a copywriter and you don't have to hire a marketer to do your events or your copywriting. You can just use these and it really gets the job done. Highly recommend it. So once you start doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the screen real quick. Then I recommend you jump into Prospect Ladder if you have it or in LinkedIn and you're gonna start inviting people to your event. You do have to create the event page first, so I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So if I just go down here in LinkedIn, you do have to have a company page on LinkedIn. They're very simple and free to create. So in this particular one, I created a My Own Name blog or Find My Prospects blog right here, and that's a company, and basically in LinkedIn's eyes, and if I view it as a member, this is the page. You cannot invite people or host a LinkedIn event from your personal page. So you basically have to do it this way. And then from there though, you'll create the event. Then you can jump into your personal page on LinkedIn and you can go down to events. Which I have to do it this way. Again, I'm in the wrong section, my apologies. 
there they are. So here's my recent events. And here's one I did not too long ago. So it was put on by the Michael Globitz blog, which is now findmyprospects.com. Anyway, it was how to recruit and sell on LinkedIn to attract the ideal prospects. So I created an event. I gave it a time. I put myself out there with that. And then on LinkedIn, you want to start inviting people, your first degree connections to this event. I don't recommend you put your Zoom link or whatever uh, web hosting that you're going to use for the event in here just quite yet. Usually wait till the week of or a couple of days out to put that in there. But basically, you want to use LinkedIn to have the ability to send a LinkedIn event invites to people. They'll start RSVPing for the event. And then LinkedIn's algorithm is going to take over. And this is where the real value is. LinkedIn's going to start showing your event to other people that look like the same type of profiles as the people that RSVP yes to your event. So this is valuable. These are not going to be your first degree connections. These are going to be second degree, third degree, and greater degree connections. They're going to start RSVP and yes for your event. And that is how you can get in front of a lot more prospects, whether you're trying to do sales, sales for services, or job candidate uh, recruitment, you'll get a lot more people that are outside your network attending the event. Even if they don't show up for the event, there's value here because then you can follow up with them and send them multiple messages and recordings of the event. That way you can connect with them offline. So again, on Prospect Ladder, we do have a campaign that will automatically let you invite those people. You basically just do a LinkedIn first degree search. Then you go ahead and uh, event invite right there. And once you do the event invite, you can send probably I'd say safely up to hundred invites a day, five to six days a week and do that for about a month. This will start getting your RSVP yeses up for the event. And like I said, LinkedIn's algorithm will take over and it'll start showing your event to other people. Another place you can find prospects for your LinkedIn event is in groups. So if you're a member of different LinkedIn groups and you think your event will provide value to them, you can do a group campaign where you'll reach out to them that you're already connected to in the group, send them a message, with the link to your LinkedIn event. And then as they RSVP, that'll grow your event as well. We always recommend Gmail connector campaigns where if you have a list of emails with people, you upload them to a Gmail account, you can create one just for this reason. And we have another blog post about that. Basically you connect with them on LinkedIn and then in the messaging, the follow-up messaging, you would talk about your LinkedIn event. Same thing with if you connect with anybody new basically on a brand new connection request, which it looks like a connector campaign here, connect with new people on LinkedIn, offer them the invite to your event after that, and build your connections along with building your RCPs to your event. Jumping back in to the screen that shows this in a full diagram is where we're at right now. So we created some LinkedIn posts. We used a LinkedIn event inviter to invite people for almost a month. We invited people through the group messenger. We invited people through the CSV and messenger campaign. And here we're at the top of the ladder and we're hosting our LinkedIn event. Again, have a co-host if you want. Make your event value packed for your prospects. 30 to 60 minutes, probably no more is what you want. The real value here is also in the follow-up. So once you have your event, these people are in your network now. You can reach out to them on LinkedIn with that connector campaign like I told you about and that LinkedIn messenger campaign to all the event attendees or just the people that RSVP'd. You can send them a link, a recording to your LinkedIn event. You can follow up and get any feedback from them. And you can also ask them if there's anything else you can help them with. Because again, if they've reached out to RSVP yes for your LinkedIn event, then there is probably some other value you can provide them offline. We also recommend use the open in-mail feature on LinkedIn and, and reach out to people that way. Scrape anybody that's following your company and reach out to them. And then CSV import, if you have a list of those emails, like I said, reach back out to them, connect with them. You can export that list of CSV right from your LinkedIn event and reach out to those leads. Again, I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in Prospect Ladder. We have a template already set up for this, which I think is very useful to see. It's a good way to visualize what I'm talking about with this event. So if I go down into my marketplace and I look at this one right here, this one pretty much covers everything that you should be doing either 
on LinkedIn or through Prospect Ladder if you have it or another way. You basically check to see if you're connected with people. If you are, that's where you'll send that follow-up message about your event, maybe with the uh, recording of the event. If you're not connected, then you can use your open emails if you have them. And then you can send connection requests on LinkedIn and send follow-up messages. Also, if you have their email, then you can go ahead and email them as well. Some people just aren't active on LinkedIn for messaging or there's so much spam out there that they don't want to read it. So then reach them in multiple ways. Same thing here. If you're not connected and you don't have the open email or they don't, then you can just send a connection request, send follow-up messages, and send emails. So that's it in a nutshell. That is the LinkedIn event part of this article and the follow-up. I hope you guys saw value in that and have a good day.